Hello, this is Simon Klein from TradeSmart at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time on the 6th of August 2017 and welcome to this week's episode of Where is the Dollar Going Next? And what you see before you, as usual, is the dollar index on the daily chart wound back to the end of last week. We said last week that the odds were most likely that we'll continue moving to the downside. We also said that we're very close to a weekly demand area and we're also in the monthly demand area so we may bounce. So let's see how the market played out last week. So on Monday the market actually moved below this demand zone over here and closed below the demand zone so the odds are more likely of a continuation of the move to the downside. On Tuesday we moved back up into what now becomes supply. On Wednesday we moved down into this demand and then back up again and closed over here. On Thursday we moved down again and we're trapped between the demand level below and the supply level above but on Friday we pushed up from this demand level below and actually broke the downtrend on the daily chart and we're now pointing to the upside so if we take a look at these levels over here you can see this is the demand zone that we broke below and closed below but this demand zone is what turned price completely around and we got this push up to the upside. So the question is this, where is the dollar likely to go next this week? So I think in the short term this week we're most likely to continue moving to the upside but again we have to go above and close above this pivot over here if we're likely to continue higher. If not what we may do is actually continue to the downside again. So those are the basic options for now in the immediate future. So let's take a look at the bigger time frames over here as we usually do. And if we look at the weekly chart, we can see that we actually did move down deeper into this demand area and then bounce to the upside. After three weeks down, the fourth week we moved down and bounced. This was last week. So the odds according to this time frame now is we're most likely going to continue moving to the upside and maybe up to this supply level above. If we don't do that, we may break below this demand area and continue moving to the downside. Now, let's take a look at the monthly chart. We see that we are after five months down into this monthly demand, so most likely we're going to get a bounce. Now, the question is this, how far is the bounce likely to take us? Now, the odds are still that we're most likely going to break below this demand zone over here and continue moving lower. So it's most likely that the bounce will not take us to new highs and it will most likely put in a lower high and then continue to the downside and eventually break this area. This is what we've been saying in previous weeks. Now the other option is that we don't. We actually move up and make new highs. So we will keep following the dollar on a week by week basis and as the market unfolds, we will explain what the odds are then. So that's all for now of where the dollar is likely to go next this week. So if you like this video, hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel at the end. This is Simon Klein from TradeSmart wishing you the best of luck with your trading this week.